Severance fans, let's talk about the reintegration process. Is it based on science or bullshit? First, we have Dr. Rigabi setting up the equipment and she's using an oscilloscope, which is actually a real machine that you can use to monitor brain waves. And then it gets weird. She's pouring what looks like salt onto a flat surface. And I think this is something called a Kladney plate. It's an experiment where you get a flat plate and you put salt or some other sort of powder on it. And then you vibrate the plate at certain frequencies to make certain patterns in the salt. She's going to vibrate the plate based on the frequencies of Mark's brain waves. And then Dr. Rigabi is waving some sort of contraption over Mark's head and I think it's a magnet. So you might not know this, but if you apply a powerful magnetic field to certain areas of the brain, you can actually influence the brain activity. And in fact, transcranial magnetic stimulation is a treatment for depression and other psychiatric illnesses. And possibly the magnet's also doing something to the lumen chip. And finally, we see the brain waves of Mark's Innie and Audi coming together on the oscilloscope. And we can also see it on the Kladney plate. So when we have waves that are out of sync, they sort of cancel each other out and we don't see any patterns emerge. But then once they're in sync, we can see those patterns. Supposedly, this process is combining the memories of Mark's Innie and Audi. But that brings us to the main question, can you surgically separate someone's memories in the first place? For the answer, watch the full video.